Hello, my lovely Leo. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We are here today for a tarot love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And of course, any of you lovely folks who are dealing with a Leo romantically. This is a timeless reading, Leo. Whenever you click into this video is when you're meant to hear the messages. But I do always like to remind you it is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. You're definitely welcome to take what works and just let go of anything that really doesn't fit for you and your circumstances. Now, before we jump in, I wanted to remind you that I've got my Etsy shop up and running. So if you would like to purchase a tarot card reading for me, definitely feel free to check out my Etsy shop. I've got a couple of other cool things on there as well. I will put the link to my shop in the description box below this video. Also, a friendly reminder, if this is your first time here, this is a very special channel because it is a Leo-only channel. All that I do on this channel is readings for the sign of Leo. I'm a very proud Leo son, and I'm just very excited to be here. I love being here with you guys, so definitely feel free to stick around. Even if you're not a Leo and you just like hanging out with us, everybody is very, very welcome here. Okay, Leo, without further ado, we're going to jump in. So I got some tarot cards. I got some oracle cards. We're going to see what's going on. I will be looking at the recent and past the current energy as well as what you can expect coming toward you in the near future so without further ado let's jump in let's see what we've got in the recent past for leo Ooh. so in the recent past we've got express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture in the recent past there was somebody who was telling another person how they feel you could have been expressing your love for somebody, Leo. They could have been expressing their love for you. There could have been some sort of gesture that somebody made. So we're gonna look more at that in just a moment. Let's see what we've got in the current energy for Leo. <laughs> I love it, we got the chemistry card. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. I will say, Leo, whenever I get the chemistry card, it does give me fire sign energy. So I do feel some of you could be dealing with a fellow fire sign romantically. But regardless of what their sign is, there's obviously somebody in your vicinity right now where there's a very strong connection between the two of you. So if you're in a relationship, this could represent the connection between you and your person. There's a lot of sparks, there's a lot of chemistry. If you are a single Leo this could definitely indicate that there's going to be somebody who you're connecting with right now and the first thing that's really going to draw the two of you together is that strong chemistry between the two of you let's see what we've got in the near future here what have we got in the near future <laughs> we will take it Leo worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life okay I'm all smiles over here because this is really beautiful energy. All three of the Oracle cards that I've pulled for you today are beautiful. And so with worth waiting for in the near future, I think you can confidently feel that something that you have been waiting for is going to be manifesting for you here at Leo. And so if you're sitting here right now being like, I'm patiently waiting. I'm just, you know, I'm being patient. I'm waiting. I'm hoping. I'm wishing. I feel like your patience is going to be paying off here in the near future. So that looks really beautiful. All right, guys. So let's get some tarot. I'm going to use the Crystal Visions tarot today. Let's start with one tarot card for the recent past for Leo, please. And then we're going to clarify a little bit more. One card to start. Wow. Okay. So in the recent past, with express your love, we have got the 10 of swords. The 10 of swords indicates some sort of betrayal situation that you experienced. Now with the 10 of swords, typically it represents that the betrayal has already happened and you're in that phase of wanting to leave it behind and wanting to recover. I wonder if there was a situation here between you and somebody Leo where there was betrayal within the connection and this person came in to express their regret, their remorse, uh, saying that they were sorry to you, telling you that they feel really bad because they messed up and they hurt you. I do see that there was the potential here for somebody to try to fix things with you or for you to get some sort of closure about a situation where somebody had betrayed you. Tell me, uh, let's get one card for chemistry. Let's get one card for chemistry in the current moment. Seven of Cups, very interesting, Leo. So Seven of Cups, this is a card about having choices available. So in the current moment, there is chemistry here between you and somebody, but there's also an element of having to make a choice, okay? Now with the Seven of Cups, often this card indicates that there's choices 
but some of those choices might be a better fit for you than other choices. It could be that there's maybe even a couple of people here, Leo, who are pursuing you or who you're interested in romantically, and you're trying to figure out who am I the most compatible with? Who do I really see, you know, taking this relationship further? Where do I feel like there's a good fit within this connection? Now with the Seven of Cups, there's always a little bit of a concern, am I seeing the whole picture? So in the current energy, you might be gathering information so that you can get the information you need to figure out who you want to be with. Now, if you're in a relationship, there could be some sort of choice or decision that you and your partner are navigating together. I think you need to get a little bit more information before making that final decision. Okay, we'll look more at that in a moment. Let's get one card for the near future for Leo. <laughs> so with worth waiting for, we've got the Empress. That's beautiful. The Empress energy is very loving, very nurturing, very caring here, Leo. And so I feel a very warm and loving connection coming in in the near future. Now, for those of you happily in a relationship, you can even see here, like with the Empress card, this depicts an individual who's pregnant. So there could be conversations about having kids. You could be finding out you're pregnant. Um, the Empress uh, is also about like a birth of a new idea. It represents new energy. So it can definitely represent new love as well. So that looks really good. Okay, so let's go back to the recent past and then we'll work our way up to the near future. So like I said, we've got Express Your Love and the Ten of Swords. So somebody was telling you something important here in the recent past, Leo, um, there was some sort of potential closure about a situation involving betrayal. Tell me more about this 10 of swords energy in the recent past for Leo. The chariot, that's actually really good, you guys, because basically it's like you were moving past whatever this betrayal was. The chariot energy represents willpower and determination. And I'm feeling this very strong energy of you saying to yourself, I'm not going to let this situation hold me back. So if you did experience broken trust, betrayal, somebody who hurt you, I feel like you were in this place where you were very determined to move past that situation and let it go because you didn't want it to hold you back. Tell me more. Tell me more here. And then we've got the Eight of Swords, yeah. Freeing yourself from something that felt restrictive. It may have been that you had tried to move past this situation, but every time you tried to move past it, you would really get up in your head because we do have the Chariot followed by the Eight of Swords. So it does tell me that you did try to move forward, but there were moments where you would slide back into that anxiety. If this was related to a breakup, it could have been that, you know, things ended with somebody who really hurt you. There were moments where you really tried to move forward, but then there were moments where you had those bad days where you would feel kind of anxious and kind of negative. I feel like that's normal in my opinion, you know, healing is not linear. I always say that to you guys. Um, when it comes to healing, I think that there are moments we feel good and then there might be moments where we get reminded of a situation and we backslide. I just feel like that's part of the process. So I see a little bit of that happening in the recent past for you. And then the two of wands, right? So lots of planning, lots of strategizing. Which way do I want to go? Um, what do I do next? So I do think you ended some sort of negative romantic situation here, Leo, in the recent past. Maybe the express your love represents you standing up and expressing your needs and expressing what you were feeling, right? And so if there was a betrayal, maybe you stood up for yourself and really expressed how that hurt you. And I see you here in the recent past, freeing yourself from that negative situation, from the stress, from the anxiety, from the self-doubt, and really being committed to moving forward, okay? It is possible that maybe as you were letting go of a negative situation, somebody new came in. So maybe the express your love indicates that there was an opportunity for new love here. But I feel like your focus was more on wrapping up some sort of negative cycle so that you could move forward. OK, now in the current energy, we've talked about how there's chemistry and the seven of cups. Are we going to focus? <laughs> there we go. So there is a strong connection here, but you're uncertain about a choice that you need to make. Tell me about the Seven of Cups, please, for Leo. Tell me about the Seven of Cups, okay? Seven of Pentacles, should I invest in this? Okay, tell me more, please. Tell me more. This is the current energy, Leo. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> okay, so we've got uh, the Seven of Cups clarified by the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. So here's the thing right now, Leo. 
because this is the current energy. I want you to pay attention to where you see 777, okay? If you see those numbers in sequence around this time, I want you to pay attention. I know that those are an angel number. That's not really my area of expertise, you guys, but if you go on the internet and search for 777, like I know a lot of those angel numbers have really nice meanings around abundance and opportunities coming in. So just look up what 777 could be, but also be mindful of where you're seeing that number because it could, I feel like it could help you with the choice or decision you need to make. So I feel like if you see the number 777, there might be something attached to it that gives you information to help you decide how you wanna move forward, okay? The high priestess. So essentially, you're gonna to need to really trust your intuition here. So you've got a choice or decision to make. It's about whether or not to invest in a situation. You're a little bit guarded. You're not sure if you wanna let your guard down. You're not sure if you wanna open up. I see you here being hesitant to let somebody in, okay? You know that you feel the sparks and you know that you feel the chemistry, but there's definitely a hesitation here to fully jump in and really accept this connection and explore this connection. Now, sometimes what happens is when I see the chemistry card, I can see some doubt that comes in, especially if you're feeling like the only thing in the relationship is the chemistry, right? So let's say that this starts out and there's really good chemistry. You might be wondering, is there more than that? Is there more than just the physical connection? Because if you're looking for something longer term, I think you're wanting to make sure it's not just a fling. It's not just some sparks that are gonna light up the sky, but then, you know, vanish as quickly as they were there. What's that saying? Like, <laughs> I feel like there's a saying about that. Can you read my mind, Leah? What am I thinking? It's like, um, it's not, it's kind of like here for a good time, not a long time, but related, like, I think it's related to like fire and chemistry. I literally don't even know. I, I might just be making that up. Like, I, I'm like, is there a saying about like, it burns bright, but extinguishes quickly? Is that a thing, Leo? If you guys can read my mind and you know what saying I'm thinking of, please let me know. Um, but I feel like that could be the concern for you, right? So in the current energy, if you're feeling hesitant about whether or not you want to explore this connection with somebody, I think you're gonna to have to trust your intuition. So let's actually clarify the high priestess for Leo. Let's see. So, <laughs> okay, <laughs> two of cups. You know what came to mind, Leo? Right away, I heard somebody saying, I only wanna get into another relationship if I see it being the potential for my person, right? I think at this point, many of you are only entertaining relationships where you see that long-term future and you don't know for sure. Like obviously when you first meet somebody, you don't know if it's gonna last, but I think you need to see the potential there because if you're connecting with somebody and you feel like all there is is chemistry, I mean, that can be fun in the short term, but it doesn't necessarily lead to long-term success because a relationship, in my opinion, and I think this is not just my opinion, <laughs> you know, it's more than just the physical. You need the emotional, you need the spiritual, you need um, the intellectual, like all that kind of stuff, right? So you're really looking for someone who I think can step it up in all of those areas. Page of Cups, oh, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let's see, let's get one more and temperance. Okay, here's the thing, you guys. The clarification on the high priestess is actually really beautiful. It looks to me like initially, you might be a little bit concerned about a connection, thinking that it's only chemistry and wondering if you even want to date this person or explore the connection. And you go into it, you're a little bit guarded with that um, seven of wands, with the seven of pentacles. You're like, is this what I want? Does this align with my intentions? But when you connect in with your intuition, it looks to me like your intuition is giving you the green light to go ahead and explore this because the two of cups is the soulmate card and then it's paired with the page of cups and the temperance. So it's almost like you start to feel that, yes, there is actually a genuine energy with this offer that's being made. There is also the emotion, like we've got that cups energy there, right? And so maybe what happens is initially, things feel very physical between you and this person, but I do see emotional connection and emotional intimacy being brought into this connection. And I do see things coming into balance here with that temperance card. Now, the interesting thing is that the temperance card can be a patient energy. And the reason that's interesting to me is because in a moment, we're gonna talk about the near future, 
where it says worth waiting for. And so maybe somebody here knows that they have a really good shot at getting to know you. They feel that the connection could be really great. So they're gonna patiently wait for you to also come to the same realization. Like they might realize before you that there is potential here and they give you that time and space to really sort out your feelings. And you can also ask them for that, right? Like if this is somebody who you're getting to know, you can just communicate with them and be like, look, you know, I came off of some, something in the past that was hard for me. I'm really dating with intention. I want to make sure that I'm dating people who I see a future with, dating people who I feel compatible with. Um, you might even say, you know, I'm a little guarded. I'm, I'm putting myself back out there and I just need to kind of take things slow and, and, you know, evaluate my options here. So you might say, I need a little bit of space to figure out how I feel. And I feel like this person is going to be more than happy to do that. Okay. All right, so in the near future, we've got worth waiting for and the Empress. There we go. Like I said, Leo, this is beautiful energy. There's love, there's abundance. It does look to me like something you've been waiting for is coming in. Tell me more about this Empress energy, please, in the near future for Leo. <laughs> King of Pentacles, you could be dealing with an earth sign of Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Love that. What else? Eight of Cups. Okay, walking away from something that no longer serves you, right? Tell me more, please. And the Three of Cups. I love it, okay? So in the near future, I see a loving connection here in the cards for you, Leo. It definitely looks like you're leaving behind something that no longer serves you and you're moving toward a place of really exploring this connection, okay? There's a sense of stability being brought into your life and I think you're realizing that there might be something that needs to leave your life in the near future in order to create a greater sense of stability. But as you walk away from that, it's followed by the Three of Cups, which is a really beautiful energy of celebration. This can also represent connecting with friends and family. And so in the near future, I feel like there is a romantic connection here where there's gonna be a lot of support from your friends and family about this connection. It is possible, Leo, that it's even a friendship that's turning more romantic, but I see this really starting to blossom into something beautiful here. And maybe, you know, maybe this is a friend who's been hoping for more for a little while. Um, but it, it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. Like it could just be somebody who your friends and family love this person. They feel like this person just really fits in with the dynamic, with the vibe of the family, and it just feels really good. So I think things are moving in a really beautiful direction. There was some pain in the past. There was some healing. In the current energy, you're still a little tentative figuring out how you feel, maybe moving forward a little bit slowly, moving at the pace you feel comfortable with. And then in the near future, it looks like things are really starting to connect and you're really starting to allow yourself to explore this beautiful connection. And I just feel very supportive energy from friends and family as well, which is beautiful. All right, my loves, so I'm gonna leave it there. If you enjoyed this reading, please do give me a big thumbs up. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Like I said, I've got my Etsy shop up and running, so feel free to check that out if you'd like to purchase a tarot card reading for, uh, for I was gonna say, from me and anything else. I got a couple of other things in my shop as well, so you can see if those are of interest to you. But of course, you know, I wish you so much love and happiness, you guys, and we'll talk again very, very soon. Bye, Leo.